Oh, okay guys, back to the action. I got Bram Stoker's Dracula up on the screen here. Let's, uh... I'm a big vampire fan, so let's see what we've got going. A journey through Transylvania. Ooh, some kind of a fearsome punch I have there. Look at this smooth anim- look at this running animation. Real slick. Look at that. He jumps high as hell. Look at this Mario block. This pathetic bo Oh, okay. <laughs> That's like, like that pathetic little uh, puddle hurt me. That's kind of a joke. Uh oh. Okay. So far, so bad. Jump, down jump not working. Jumping in. Oh, okay. Down jump, like, actually stomps on things. Interesting. What the? Oh, okay. Oh, now I throw axes, okay. So I'll just, like, st stomp these down. Interesting. Spikes down there. Not sure what the hell's going on right now. Boom. Go down. I was limited how many axes I had. That's a shame. Hmm. Tricky. How many lives do I have? Two? Completed it. Scene one, daytime. Okay. It's not bad. Not a bad game at all. Journey through Transylvania. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Music is really intense. Torch. This music is really intense. It's a clever boss design, I'll tell you that. Definitely is pretty hard to maneuver around him. Let's try it again. Hmm. Oh shit. Wow, you gotta be like... Right, I'll try one more time. If I have that. Okay. Hell, my controller stopped working. Oh, for Christ's sake. Shit, god damn it.
damn it, it's this, this goddamn Bluetooth controller. Sorry about this. Well, that game, I think, was pretty great. Stop. That was so great, in fact, I might even come back and play that again. That's how great it is. Alright, controller, come on. Give me a break here, would you? Connected. Okay, thanks. Alright, what do we got? Break time, National Pool Tour. I have a feeling it's going to be bad. I just have that feeling, you know? Nine ball. Sure, I know how to play that. Ooh. Ed, Jim, Jane. Well, I want to be the chick. She looks hot. What's going on? I don't get it. What's happening right now? I'm pushing start. Just the, I'm just pushing start this whole time. No, I don't want to input my stupid name. Dramatic. That me? Okay. What? 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 What happened to my hit? I just didn't do anything. Okay. I break because I got closer. Puts the cue ball anywhere. Put it right there. Select the English. Give it all the top spin in the world, huh? Is that what you do? I don't play pool. Shoot. Okay. That was an awesome shot. Now he gets to put it anywhere. Okay. Put it right up against there. Go ahead. He's thinking. Oh, that's who you aim? The shot. You know, if I was really into pool and I couldn't afford a pool table, this wouldn't be a bad game. It'd be kind of fun, and like, if I had a brother or something, you know? Play some pool. <laughs> Alright, Ed. Let AAA get on it. Um, what the hell's going on? Come on, man! I take everything I said back. This controller's a fucking piece of shit. Okay. You gotta, like, plug- you gotta, like, remind it what the hell's going on every couple seconds. No, I didn't do anything yet. No. Man, I can't even... I'm giving it a one. I mean, it's a good pool game. So... What's wrong with it? Nothing. Breakthrough. By Data East. Data East, I know they made uh, bad dudes. That's how I know them. Bad dudes. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the president? Fight your way through the mountains. Am I playing right now? Is my controller broken again? Jesus Christ. Can I just leave it plugged in? I don't get it. I would just leave it plugged in. I'll just 
save it plugged in. All right, let's restart this game. All right, I'll just leave it plugged in. Won't even use the Bluetooth because it's obviously horrible. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, landmine. I thought it was gonna go fast. Pick up those gold coins. No such luck. Watch out for falling rocks. Okay. I caught the landmine. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize, I'm done being an amateur. It's like I've never ridden a tank before. This reminds me a little bit of Battletoads. Wow, that's a surprise. Okay. It's two player, I bet it's alternating two player, you know? Player one, then player two. That sucks when that happens. Oh, come on. Look at that. Can I jump over? I forgot I could jump. Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute here. <laughs> Looks like there's only five levels, so it's kind of a short game, but... What the hell is this? What the hell is that? Nintendo games are often really unfair. I mean, how am I supposed to know what to do there? Like, you can't stop moving. You're driving right for some kind of a weird cliff face. You want to jump on it? What the hell? So I can't stop. I can jump. Look, what the hell do you do? Shoot it? That's bullshit. This game's cruising to get a zero right about now. Can I break those rocks? I can break them. That's kind of nice. Okay. So, if I can't beat this part, I'm just gonna delete this fucking piece of shit. Kill landmines too. Horrible game! Absolutely a zero. What were they thinking? Garbage. Alright. Bubble Bath Babes. I've been waiting for this all week. The game's called Bubble Bath Babes. player. Uh, nipples. She has nipples. Look. Look at that. This has to be something weird, right? It's like, uh... Hmm. I don't know what to say. <coughs> Except for that I'm amazed. So it's a Tetris, you know, I don't want to say Tetris clone, but it's 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 a Tetris-esque game. Nothing wrong with it. Look at that chick, she's just washing her thigh. She's gotta get real clean. Get clean, baby. music. You know, it definitely isn't a bad game. I'm kind of curious if anything happens. I'm doing obviously very bad right now. I just I keep looking at her nipples. It's hard. This game's harder than it seems because you got nipples looking at you. And I think it's a video game nipple. You don't see nipples in a Nintendo game very often. And uh, here they are. There we go, it's a combo. Wait, you thought I was bad at this game? Look at this. Master bubble bath babes.
Can you imagine having this game when you were, like, 10? Like, I don't know where you got it. Let's say, I don't know, your parents probably wouldn't buy bubble bath babes for, for somebody, but at, even then, my parents would, they would never anticipate that this would happen in a Nintendo game. So there's a game called Bubble Bath Babes. I don't know. Maybe it's for kids or something. You could trick your parents into buying this for you, I think. And then you have your friends come over and, like, you show them this game. Man. That would be really great. The music's not, you know, the worst. How do you level up? How's anything happen? This is an uncomfortable shape. Not right, that shape again. Shit. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit. No! Now I'm really falling apart. Hmm. I'm gonna say end, because I want to see if game B is any different than game A. Oh, sure, I'll put my game. Tom, Joe, try. Game type B. Nope, still the same. Oh, you start with some. Alright, well, I think we've all probably had enough, but... That's definitely, uh, something unique. I mean, I gotta give that a 1 out of 1. That's, there's tip nipples in it, and the gameplay is not even horrible. Great. So far, it's a good run today. It's only breakthrough is bad. And that's not even that bad. It's just only bad because there's an impassable barrier. Alright, Bubble Bobble. This game is a classic. Absolute classic. Two-player treasure. Awesome two-player action in this game. I played it a lot when I was a kid, and even recently I played this game. This is an arcade port. Very excellent. Bubble Bobble. If you never played, what you do here is you spit bubbles. And you put the bad guys in bubbles, and you touch the bubbles, and they burst. And then they give you fruit, and you want to get the fruit. Pickles, see pickles. Pick up all that fruit. Then you wait to teleport to the next round. You fall really slowly. You notice that just now? That's just the way it is. The enemies are sometimes unpredictable, so you gotta be real careful. And the last one gets really mad, and he goes fast. This game reminds me of classic Mario Brothers. You know, that old one with the, with the, the crabs and the pow? It's similar to that, in that it's like a single screen kind of a challenge, and it's two players simultaneous, so... Oh. I think got me. And there's more enemies. There's not just these blue little tin can dudes. There's a lot more. I think I'll probably see a few. You fall in the pit, you come out the top. The gameplay gets intense. You can, you can like bounce on your own bubbles, and that's a uh, a lot of the advanced stuff comes from that. So like, if you want to get up somewhere, you go like this. You can bounce on your bubble to get up high. There's a whole thing to it. There's a whole thing. And the one player is not as fun as two player. Two player, this game is just an absolute riot. Oh, see, there's a water bubble. So if you get that, it makes water, and then that water flies around. And it kills everybody. And there's lightning bolts and fireballs. There's all kinds of cool power-ups. Right, if you haven't played Bubble, Bubble Bobble... Sorry, I got allergies. Uh, if you've never played Bubble Bobble, and you have a friend who'll play it with you, great for, like, girlfriends and, you know, stuff. Uh, my, uh... My, not wife. Uh, she... We played this game once, and she didn't, she didn't hate it. And she usually does hate them, so... It's fun, it's simple. All you do is walk back and forth, you, you hit, it's cooperative, uh, it's cute, you get fruit, pickles, french fries. Look at that. It's great. Oh, there's an N. I don't even know what happens when you spell whatever you're spelling. 
What is that thing? That green thing at the bottom right. What is that? A squash? I never knew. Oh, wow, he shoots now. I forgot. So you can continue. You can continue from the level we left off on. Which, you know... Some say that makes it too easy, but... When I play with my friend, we always start over from the beginning, you know, and we try to beat the whole game. I think there's 100 levels. I think it's exactly 100. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And, uh, you know, if you're into... If you, like, emulate games, um, there's a Bubble Bubble, bubble 2 on MAME. And it's, like, the best version of this game. It's the same game, you know, it's just, like, better graphics, and it's called Bubble Bubble 2. Check that out on MAME. It's excellent. Give me that fruit. There's a green thing again. What is it? Oh. Oh, no, I've got these little purple dudes. They go diagonally. And they fly. Candy. Oh, candy makes your bubbles faster. Candy gives you, like, different power-ups. I got a one-up there. I can't get that one. Got him. Alright, well, you get the gist of it. Bubble Bobble. Absolute one out of one. Fun game. Great gameplay. Two-player enjoyment comes out of there. So yeah, we got today, we got everything was good except for a breakthrough, and breakthrough even has potential. I don't know how to get through that stupid thing, it's frustrating. Maybe the manual will tell you how to, like, plow through rocks, whatever. For now, I mean, I got, what, halfway through the first level and got trapped? That's not appropriate. Oh, we got Bubble Bubble, bubble 2. Uh, great. Buck your hair. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. And Bump and Jump. Looks like an exciting little section, so join me next time, and we'll play some more Nintendo. Thanks for watching.